And of course, if you're already thinking about lunch, what are you thinking about having for lunch? Because of course summer is here, it's time to get moving, but what is the right exercise for you to burn off your lunch calories? With us this morning, Coach Gail, good morning. Thank you so much for being with us. Good morning, hi Ronnie. So I'm always confused uh, by this because I go on TikTok and it's like, what is best? <laughs> because I think I grew up in the generation where it was, cardio, 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 but now you're hearing more about weights. Which one is right for individuals or does it just matter? So this is quite the topic. Um, everyone seems to have the right answer, but here's what I would say. I would say just like variety of food and nutrients are important for the human body, and the mind, I would say a variety of exercise is also important. So, uh, you know, maybe you have your favorite, maybe you're a runner, maybe you uh, like to lift weights, maybe you like Zumba and dancing around, however you like to move, um, it might be worth thinking about trying something new and adding it to your repertoire so that your body gets a little bit of everything. And really, it's if you like something, you're more likely to do it more often. You know, I um, I would imagine as we get a little older, so many of us have experienced some past injuries. How do we work that into our exercise program? Yeah, so a lot of, you know, the theme that you might be hearing if you're listening to me chat and talk and share my thoughts each week um, is that it is very individual. So, um, you know, a lot of times when you're trying to get into a routine and that might be difficult for you, you uh, people tend to imagine, they tend to guess, they tend to assume, they tend to believe one thing or another. When you find the right professional to help you figure out where to start and where you're at, at that moment, what you need, and then build from there, there's a much better chance for you to be able to figure out what's right for you. Um, whether you're protecting a body part, whether you have limitations, whether you're strong and want to add, whatever that might be, um, that variety is out there. And finding that right professional to Number one, ask you lots of questions. You've heard me say that before, is when you find a professional that talks a lot about what they do and how they do it and fail to ask you all about yourself, that's a red flag. So, you know, finding somebody who um, you can explain how you're feeling, what you're going through, what you've done, what works for you, what doesn't, and then having that professional, that trainer, have a bag of tricks have experience, be certified, be understanding of your situation and know where to start with you. Um, that is a huge way for you to kind of enter into the territory of adding or starting with a little bit more positivity and success uh, potential. A couple more minutes here with you, Coach Gail. Can I ask you as we age, mobility and being flexible seems to go away. How important is that to address that when we're trying to come up with an exercise program? I would say critical, critical. And it isn't just necessarily about aging. We just happen to notice it more when we're aging. So, um, you know, when was the last time you thought about your joints, your toes, your ankles, your knees, your hips, your fingers, elbows, neck, all of those, um, places in your body, those joints in your body that allow us to move freely. Um, thinking about strengthening and paying attention to those particular areas of your body in order for the rest of you to move properly is a huge factor. Um, stretching is different than mobility, is different than range of motion, and everybody is different. So, um, you know, I happen to be a stick mobility certified coach which is a system of exercise that focuses not on bouncing around or lifting weights, though that's a lot of us have that in our mind is what exercise is, but instead this type of exercise is a complement or a starting point um, for joint strength, mobility, and what I like to call functional 
training. And that is, hey, when was the last time you reached up to grab something off of a top shelf or the seatbelt in your car or getting in and out of your car or lifting your groceries or your child? Um, all of those require your body to work well and is a part of what we talk about and uh, figure out where you're at and help you to move forward there. That's such good information. I'm gonna to have to try that, by the way. You yeah, know, I like, would love it. Go behind your, your back and see if you can touch your hands. <laughs> I cannot do that, so. Yes, yes, those <laughs> kinds of things are possible and they help so much, Ronnie. They help so much in our daily routine. So here's the key, guys. If you are imagining, if you're assuming, if you're frightened, if you're wondering, if you're confused, find a professional. Here's one right here that can help you figure that out and get you started or add to your routine in a way that is safe, fun, and meaningful. I love that. And with that, uh, Coach Gail, as always, tell people how they can contact you. Sure. 248-885-1400 uh, is text or call. You can also go to my website and message me from there and take a little browse around. That's Gail, um, coachgale.com. G-A-Y-L-E, coachgale.com. Well, we so appreciate your time. As always, I learned so much and you always motivate me. Uh, after our talk last week, every day this week, I'm getting up doing that one thing. I love it, Ronnie. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what it is. <laughs> we'll have to chat after, this is great. Well, thanks again for your time. We appreciate it. You're welcome, have a great day.